Hey everyone, I'm Ali of Satin Heath Coat. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite fragrance companies, Fulton and Rourke. They are an American fine fragrance company with truly outstanding products. I got their EDP of Mahana and I'm excited to share it with you all. This is the EDP, the Extra de Parfum. That means it has the highest concentration of perfume oil in a fragrance product from Fulton and Rourke. It is going to be strong and last long because of that high concentration, but never overpowering. It's also nice to know that because this is, the price point is around $200. And if you're gonna pay $200 for something, you need it to last for a while. And because this is so concentrated, you have to use less of the product over time, which just helps me personally with the evaluation of value uh, that I get out of a product. I love Fulton and Rourke's branding. I love this really dark, almost opaque glass with the FNR branding on all sides, the scent in a small kind of minimalist tab above, the really sturdy cap and the stainless steel spritzer. There's always a really nice hearty spritz out of these. The wear on these has been really, really great for me. As I've been sharing this content, I've been blown away at how much feedback I've gotten, particularly on TikTok, where people are asking about these fragrances. And I've had so many women really want to jump in with Fulton and Rourke, but they feel a lot of their fragrances were traditionally too masculine. All of their fragrances are made to be gender neutral. I'm somebody that wants something that's pretty hyper feminine or distinctly feminine, whatever that means to you. To me, I want something that you can tell is just very soft and delicate and, and has that kind of feminine energy. Mahana is one of these that I think you're going to love. So it's feminine in that it's light and easy and beautiful, but I can see how the guys would love it too because it's just clean. It's a great, great neutral. And I think on you, because this does have some musks, your chemistry is going to work with this beautifully. I got a one sheet PDF of information about this fragrance from the brand. I'm gonna be reading off of it to share information with you all. So the olfactive family that this fragrance belongs to is citrus aromatic. So when I say it's clean, it's easy, of course, that's what we think of when we think of like citrus aromatic scents. The mood is vibrant and optimistic. The top notes are pomelo and white musk. The mid, coriander and birch leaf and base of cedar. So pomelo right at the top is going to be a fresh kind of blend of of citrus, something like grapefruit and orange, clean with it's like just a little tiny hint of sweetness in there. And that together in the top notes with the white musk is gonna be beautiful because a musk is also gonna be clean but slightly powdery. And then it's, it's warm and sensuous because a musk works with skins. So heats up on your skin and kind of becomes transformative and unique to you, right? So that's the top note, the thing that we smell first. The middle notes is we're getting to the coriander and the birch leaf. Now coriander is aromatic, it's pungent, it's spicy, peppery, lemony, woody. It's very, very complex. I personally love it. Um, and I think again, it, it leaves some room for play on your skin. So maybe you have something that's gonna bring out more of the spice in the coriander. Maybe you have something that's gonna bring out something that's a little sweeter or, or woody. Then the birch leaf, I always love because like I said, I love something that's crisp and green and fresh and birch leaf is all of those things. To me, that's what makes a great neutral clean fragrance that I love for day wear. Um, and, and birch leaf is always a note that I look for and if I see it, I think I'm probably Probably gonna like the fragrance. Now the the base, the heart of the perfume, what's gonna be there when these other notes kind of dissipate is the cedar. Now that's woody, dry, and it kind of when you think about smelling a fresh pencil, right? That's what cedar is like with a little bit of amber, which is an accord, right? A warm, warm kind of almost sweet without being saccharine accord. Cedar is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. And all of these come together in Mahana in a way that is so beautiful. All of Fulton and Rourke's fragrances are based on a place. And this is a place in Hawaii that actually has a green beach. And it's just inspired by this hike that you can take over to the beach. And the story is really actually very beautiful and inspiring. And I can totally see it coming to life in this perfume. So they say it's a celebration of fresh air, verdant hills, and driftwood. Totally makes sense. But we've talked about it enough. I love this fragrance. I fell in love with it. Oh, I 
fell in love with it in the sample kit that I got. It's just so nice. And like I said, I'm somebody who has a very low tolerance for wearing male fragrances. It's just not something that I do, masculine fragrances. This is just clean. It's just clean and good. Um, wow, right at the beginning, that citrus kind of hits the back of my palette and almost makes my mouth water because it's like um, a little sweet but tangy and acidic. It's so, so nice. And those musks have the cleanliness that I associate with powder. Oh, it's just beautiful. You can see that spritz is hearty. I just like to hit my chest and then my wrists and then rub it together and then maybe I'll dab some onto my neck. All those pulse points, the places where blood is moving underneath and warming the fragrance on your skin. It's amazing. Yeah, I can totally, this totally has, I've never been to Hawaii, but it does have a clean, almost kind of tropical feel to it. Oh, it is beautiful. It's organic. It's complex. It's, it's, it's a beautiful fragrance. I love it. And I know you guys will too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch a special thank you as always to my live chat crew. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.